Income tax 2021-2022. What form to file, fiscal year, and write in information. Get ready to get refunds to the max, diving into income tax 2021-2022. Most of this information can be found in the Form 1040 Instructions Tax Year 2021 found on the IRS website, irs.gov, irs.gov. What form to file? This should be an easier question than it once was, at least for the individual income tax returns, because instead of having multiple different forms, an easier and a more complex one, they basically have the Form 1040, and then you can, essence, in essence, add schedules to it, adding complexity in that way. So everyone can file the Form 1040. Then there's a Form 1040 SR, which is available to you if you were born before January 2nd, 1957. Fiscal year filers. If you are a fiscal year filer using a tax year other than January 1st through December 31st, this would be a kind of a rare thing generally for individual income tax returns here, write quote tax year end quote at the beginning and ending months of your fiscal year in the top margin of page one of form 1040 or 1040 SR. Write in information. So if you have to add any kind of information that would possibly be necessary or you think may be necessary for the IRS, that's not a standard component of the forms in essence here. If you need to write a word, code, and or dollar amount on form 1040 or 1040 SR to explain an item of income or deduction, but don't have enough space to enter the word, code, and or dollar amount, you can put an asterisk next to the applicable line number and put a footnote at the bottom of page two on your tax return indicating the line number and the word code and or dollar amount you need to enter so there could be some instances say for example you had an, an emergency kind of zone you were declared an emergency emergency disaster zone by fema or something like that and there could be deductions related to it you might need that code or something like that involved in which case you would have to add that code in some way and you could follow these instructions to help you out with that. So for example, if you received wages as a household employee and didn't receive a W-2 because you were paid only $2,000, the instructions for line one state that you must enter quote HSH end quote and the amount of the wages next to line one. You may instead put an asterisk uh, next to line one and in the white space at the bottom of the page two of form 1040 or 1040 sr enter the asterisk to kind of indicate that they're line one hsh and then there's the two thousand dollars you could put there